because this weekend I'll just kind of be chilling. I'll probably go over to St. Louis. Fourth and Home is actually a store that I've been to before. And when I walked in for the first time, I bought an interior design book and I knew for a fact I was going to love the store. It was my aesthetic, it was my vibe. I got some really cool stuff and honestly, I had gotten a puzzle, which I think this puzzle right here, this puzzle, it's really cool. We had carpet before, but now it's hardwood. Hey everyone, it's a new day, a new vlog, a new almost week. But it is currently August 12th on a Friday at 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since 8.30 actually kind of preparing for my day, finishing the last vlog, and I'm currently transferring footage to start editing the vlog that you'll see before this one. Either way, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you all had a good morning or afternoon or night wherever you are in the world. But today is my weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are usually dedicated to wind down, chill, work on a few things, and just have fun. Because this weekend, I'll just kind of be chilling. I'll probably go over to St. Louis to kind of look around the site, see what's there, because there's supposed to be a sale block in this like current area where my university is at. And I wanna go over there, find some good stuff to put in my apartment, or just, you know, look and browse, because a sale is always fun for me. But anyway, I think what I'm gonna go and do is actually just make some oatmeal and have a banana and then call it quits for my breakfast so I can start editing my previous vlog and get that done so I'm not like taking days to edit because it takes me days to edit literally anything for YouTube because I'm a perfectionist, but sometimes like I'll spend hours just trying to find some music, but let's have some breakfast. So welcome back to another vlog. Today is currently Saturday, August 13th, and it's only like 10.30 right now at the moment. I'm in my car, and I'm not looking at the camera because I'm driving, but I wanted to say today is a good day. It's my second day of, you know, my weekend reset of relaxing and chilling and just enjoying my time and not overstressing over the little things. And today I wanted to go over to st louis to check out the farmer's market and the block sale that's happening over there because there's some good stuff happening like 40 percent off and i personally have not been over there in a minute and i wanted to be able to go over there to see what they have because uh, i don't know i need to get out touch some grass every once in a while i will but i don't know when so today is that day where i'm going out to see people but not near people because I have social anxiety and talking to people is not my forte. I'm like, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. You know, it's weird. But today I want to go over there, see what's what, and maybe buy one or two things. I mean, 40% off is not that bad and the pricing is not that bad over there anyway. Plus, I need to get gas for my car. I have like a half a tank, which is like really good but with these gas prices going up about the wazoo, you gotta get gas at some point. And that's the one thing I hate about driving, having to get gas for your car when gas prices are like skyrocketing through the roof. It's ridiculous. But it's like, I finally am at the point in my life where I understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, 
for art and content creation and like a business owner standpoint so I feel good about myself finally for after so long it feels like I'm understanding what it's like to be a 26 year old in this day and age you know I think we all go through waves in life of thinking how do we adult how do we be human and in reality there really isn't no right or wrong way to really be an adult it's all about through they say trial and error which honestly makes sense so I find it that you know we take it one step at a time and we take it day by day to just relax and just be who you want to be and then not have to be somebody else somebody that you're not because when you're someone that you're not it feels icky and weird and it's like who am I you know so when you're being yourself it's more important than than anything you know so I'm at this store called the Union Studio here in Webster Grove in Missouri and I've never been here before but they've been around since 2014 and I graduated from university in 2020 like it's literally down the street from my university which is crazy which I did not know at all I don't get out much however I came around here during their block sale that they were having for the past couple of days and I wanted to see what they had to offer and what I like about this shop is a locally owned you know store that features over 150 different artists in St. Louis which I think is really phenomenal and I wanted to be able to kind of capture some montage you know footage and showcase a little bits and pieces of the store and of course if you want to check out their social media and their website I will link it down below in the description along with the other stores that I'll be featuring today but I think this is a really cool store and I definitely want to come back for the future. So Fourth and Home is actually a store that I've been to before and when I walked in for the first time I bought an interior design book and I knew for a fact I was going to love the store. It was my aesthetic, it was my vibe. Everything is like very vintage, handmade, mid-century modern, which mid-century modern is my true aesthetic. It's what I live for. It's what I want my IRL house to be one day in the future. But I came here to like look around, see what I can find and kind of grab a few things. I only came out with getting a puzzle, which is actually a 1000 piece puzzle of a nice abstract you know art piece and I think it's really nice and beautiful and I cannot wait to put it together but what's so cool about fourth and home is that they have a bunch of like locally you know artists in their store that they hang up like prints and illustrations and cards and stickers and, and whatnot it's a lot of textile type things and it's really cool to see uh, a business highlight local artists and give them a platform in a in a brick and mortar store such like fourth and home and if you want to find like any prints or anything like that i will put down their instagram and also where they are located along with the other businesses for you know their location and everything but fourth and home is definitely the home for me for the future Now, Duharma and Joel is a store that I haven't particularly been to before, but when I walked in for the first time today, I was definitely greeted by a lovely staff and also just welcoming atmosphere. It was very peaceful, very calm, very zen, and I've seen their store like around but never been actually inside of it before, but I do know that they have a lot of like vegan cruelty free type products in their store like they have toothpaste um handmade stuff from different artists around you know st louis area jewelry whatever you ha whatever you're looking for they probably have and i have gotten a soap from them actually before that i remember i got a soap from them and i've been using it recently and it's so good like like on my body and everything like it's so good to use and I got two more soaps here and I got a tumic ginger soap bar and I think I got like a rose type you know bar as well and I cannot wait to use them and I also got a tv tray and 
Something that I've been longing for is like cruelty free, vegan, safe type products to use on my body or just like everyday usage for like my kitchen, living room, whatever it might be. And Duhar and Dwell has stuff that I need and I'm glad that I got to be here at this block sale, especially when things were on sale like 20% off or 40% off, whatever it might have been, I wanted to definitely grab for myself and see how I can definitely use it. Now, by all means, I am not like, you know, well, well knowledgeable in vegan or anything like that, but I am willing to learn and learning myself. Um, but I will put their website down below in the description along with like their Instagram and all that stuff because you can actually buy products off of their store on their website or you can go to their actual location in Webster Grove if you would like to. And of course, like I said, everything will be linked down below. I kind of like these voiceovers. They're very fun to do. Very therapeutic. But yeah, that's Duharma and Dwell. But let's go to the next store. So the next shop I have is the Annex, which I've been to before and I got like, you know, cookie cutter type utensils from here for like baking things. But I came here again during the block sale and I found this lovely oatmeal that I cannot wait to try. It looks really good and it should be very, you know, filling, fulfillful when I try it. But it's basically like a coffee shop slash like, you know, food place where you can get like sandwiches or drinks or, whatever it might be and it's so comforting the vibes in that place is very nice it's indoor outdoor dining and they have like this array of like baking goods and like chips and pasta and spices and sauces like you name it they probably have it and hands down one of my favorite stores i definitely want to go to and try and find some other good stuff i will link down below their website and you all can like check out what they have that fit your needs and stuff like that. So of course, check out the annex, but let me show you a little bit of a haul of what I have found throughout this entire experience. So I'm currently outside and I don't know if you can actually hear me. However, I just got done shopping in these like stores around St. Louis and there's an ongoing block sale that I think ends tomorrow, I believe, where like they have like the sale at 20% off, 20 40% off, whatever. But they have this thing going on until like the 21st of August, which is not that bad to be honest. But I did want to show you this though. I did, um, I did show this in the store over here, like where I'm sitting right now, the, the annex, I believe and they have like all these like really cool products and i've always looked in their store but never really bought anything until today so i decided to actually finally buy something and i got the instant oatmeal apple cinnamon as you know i love apple cinnamon oatmeal more than anything so i was like hey get some oatmeal might as well it's high protein instant oatmeal apple cinnamon so it's a little bit different than i'm used to but they say it's a hundred times less water nine times less speed and 26 times fewer co 2 e so it's probably better than the oatmeal that i'm actually eating right now but it, you know what's fine i will try it and see what i think but if you want to get this oatmeal it's at the annex in st louis in webster grove so if you ever want to come here get some stuff get some food get some whatever you need come here either way i got some really cool stuff and honestly I had gotten a puzzle, which I think this puzzle right here, this puzzle, it's really cool. It's a thousand pieces, and to be honest, I have not had a puzzle in a long time. So I thought buy a puzzle for myself. It was 20% off, and I was like, works for me. So I took it and I got it. And so that it was, I think that was from Fourth and Home in Webster Grove, which I've been there before and I bought an in interior design book from them and I, I'm still reading it and I have learned a lot about interior design. I think if you saw it in my last vlog, I kind of mentioned it a little bit, um, but I didn't tell you where I got it from, but I got it from Fourth and Home in St. Louis in Webster Grove. And then I got some soap from uh, Duhar and Dwell. I'll put like the name on the screen because I don't think I'm saying it right. But yeah, I got two soaps from Duhara, Duhara and Dwell. This one I think is like a rose scent and it smells, it smells really nice. And they recommended that I get this like 
bag thing. I got another soap and it's ginger turmeric, I think. Ooh. Okay, this is not so smell that bad. It's ginger turmeric. I'll put like a picture on the screen so I can show you what I mean. But um, I got two soaps from there from Dahara and Dwell in Webster Grove. It's literally right next door to Fourth and Home. So like easy breezy, simple. But I got two of those. So I got myself a bamboo tray to put my plates on if I'm ever eating in my living room ever again. So I got that and that's pretty much the way all I got from like shopping around and looking. But definitely a bunch of montage footage in each of the stores in this area that I particularly wanted to go into and find some good stuff that I wanted. I want to conquer fears for myself this year to like, I'm a YouTuber, I love making content, I love making people happy, I love entertainment, and I love sharing my life. And so I thought, you know, one way to conquer fear is try to vlog in public as much as I can without feeling, you know, a lot of anxiety, you know? anxiety is real and personally um we conquer our fears by doing the unknown and doing the thing that we're scared of i i've had a really 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 fun day today and i cannot wait for tomorrow because i'm going to go to my parents house and we're just going to kind of have a chit chat about life the future you know stuff like that and um kind of go about our day because sundays are like family days for us I don't live with them anymore, so I thought, let's just be able to um, hang out together for a day and, and chill. Pretty good. Pretty good. guess good afternoon because it's currently 12 50 p.m. I woke up very late to the morning I woke up like around like maybe 9 30 and kind of got started with my day I washed my face brushed my teeth my retainer um, also kind of got dressed and kind of you know clean up the apartment a little bit which you did not see but however I'm going to my parents house because today is Sunday and we want to have like a family day and chill and hang out and just talk and just have like you know quality family time we try to do it every weekend when we can if we can't then you know we do it the other weekend but every once in a while I'll just drive to my parents house without even telling them saying hey I'm here like yesterday I went to my parents house and I just surprised them saying hello. Pretty much I was only there to get the Sam's Club card, but you know, also see my parents. So probably won't vlog as much today just because I want to live in the moment, hang with my parents and just chill and not do too much. So Sunday might not be vlogged as much, 
but I did want to show you the um, renovations my parents have been doing. My dad yesterday, I think he just finished the stairs and I want to show off all the hard work he's been doing for the stairs and the upstairs because it's really cool and very nice. It's no more carpet upstairs, just hardwood floor and um, it looks really good. It's kind of like similar to my apartment floors, but a little bit darker. The walls are very different. If you know my yellow slash blue office that I had in my parents' house like years ago, it is now gray. So very drastic in color, but it looks wonderful regardless. Hey everyone, so I'm currently at my parents' house and apparently when I got here, they weren't even here. So I'm in an empty house by myself once again, but it's fine. I wanted to show you the stairs that my dad has been working on because they look really cool. So these are the stairs my dad has been working on. And honestly, I love the new look of it because it looks way better than we had, you know, carpet. We had carpet before, but now it's hardwood. He still has to do like, you know, this part right here. And I think one or two more up there. And then the whole stairs are basically done. So this used to be my office. If you all remember, it used to be blue and then they changed it to yellow and now it's gray <laughs> so um it's pretty much all consistent throughout the entire house so far it's a hardwood gray walls in here and then gray walls in my old bedroom i don't know what they're gonna put in here to be honest but if they don't have any ideas i am more than happy to definitely use my interior design skills and do something in here i might take over this room again but not make it yellow <laughs> but we'll see so before I actually moved away from my parents' house, this was my bedroom. My bedroom was huge. If you remember the cleaning out, cleaning montage or moving out vlog that I did, I'll link it down below. But this used to be my bedroom. The walls used to be all pink. It came with the house. Like when we moved into, into this house, it was all pink. And I'm like, I don't want to paint it. I do not care. All I'm really going to do is sleep in here. No one else is going to see it. So. I was like, keep the walls pink, I don't care, but they are now gray with the same hardwood floor. And personally, I don't know what they're gonna do in here either. I don't know if they said an office is gonna be up here or in a like sitting room, not really sure, but they got this like other ottoman from Aldi's and you know, the closet space is, you know, over here and then over here.